Uranium is found in nature in three isotopes. Three other isotopes are man-made. One isotope you might have heard about, uranium-235, is what powers nuclear plants or goes into bombs. But U-235 makes up only about 0.7% of uranium extracted from ground. The enrichment process is needed to concentrate the U-235 to higher levels. Only the few countries have the technology, and Iran is one of them. What is the level of enrichment needed? At 3 to 5 percent, enriched uranium can be used for commercial nuclear power plants. At 20 percent, it could be used in certain kinds of research reactors, which are less common. 90 percent is considered weapons grade. In terms of technological difficulties, going from the natural state of 0.7 percent concentration to 20 percent takes about 90 percent of the total effort. And once a country reaches to 20 percent, the gap to weapons grade is small. Most experts agree a bomb could be weeks or just a few months away. So where is Iran? Before 2015 nuclear deal, Iran had enriched a large quantity of uranium to nearly 20 percent. It hadn't crossed a line and gave it up to exchange for a sanction relief. It also shut down centrifuges used for enrichment. Under the deal, Iran has the right to enrich up to 3.67 percent, enough to develop its commercial nuclear plants and stall the bomb-making capability. But back to today, the U.S. withdrew from the deal and resumed sanctions. European countries cannot provide economic benefits that are enough to make up for Iran's losses. Iran says it is enriching to fuel its Bushehr power plant which requires the concentration at about 5 percent, but says will not produce 20 percent to fuel a Tehran research reactor for now. So, Iran would remain far away from weapons grade, but a solution is urgently needed to stop the situation from going off the road. Yang Zhao, CGTN.